name is Tamburi and today we're going to take a look at the Logitech C300 Quick Cam. It's a 1.3 megapixel uh, webcam. Uh, we have uh, read some specifications on the website of Logitech and it looks pretty good. Uh, the webcam itself looks pretty good. It is not self-focusing, but of course you can focus it uh, manually with the focus ring. Uh, what we have seen looks pretty good. Um, the few videos that we could find on the internet look pretty good, so we're just going to take a look at it. Um, let's take a look at some of the specifications. It is a true 1.3 megapixel sensor, so that means 1.3 megapixel videos, all right, and 5 megapixels photo capture because the program makes it, um, you know, upscales to 5 megapixels. And of course, you get the uh, the usual Logitech video effects and the fun filters. It's not too special. Um, uh, but yeah, it, it looks uh, it looks pretty darn good. And uh, let's just unpack it. And let's go take a look. Now, this series of webcams has been just released by Logitech um, and it includes the new Logitech Vid uh, application, which is a program by Logitech for video conferencing. But I'm not going to use it because not a lot of people use it. Alright, this is a bit of hard to open packaging, but we'll get there, and else we'll just rip it open. Mm. Oh, I see there. Uh, some stickers over here. This is really tricky. Um, let's see how we can get this off. Maybe. So. Oh, this sucks. Hmm. Alright. There we go. Let's pull it out. The usual uh, Logitech packaging. You know, a nice showcase and the manual and the CDs are inside of the box. I don't know why they actually actually put a quick start guide and all that stuff with a webcam. All right, let's go and take a look. Hmm. Tip: If you have no idea how to open up the box. There you go. <laughs> yeah, that was a stupid thing. Alright, so here's the webcam in its unpackaged state. It feels kind of light and plastically. Uh, our previous webcam, the Logitech QuickCam Chat for Skype, feels a bit more sturdy, but it's smaller. Uh, the USB connector is nice and stylish. Nothing too special about that. Of course, we have the focus ring and all that stuff. Let's go and take a look at the installation process now. The webcam comes with a quick start guide, but it looks more like a newspaper. It's useless because the software to install is pretty straightforward. Let's go and take a look at that software right now. The software is made for Windows XP and Windows Vista and also works with Windows 7. How sweet. Let's insert the disk into the drive. Let's load the software on our computer. Before we are actually going to follow the steps of the installation uh, program, we're first going to set up the camera. I'm not going to plug it in yet, but set it up on the screen so we can plug it in easily when we have to. Alright, so let's uh, set it up. Not directed at me, but you know, at least that it's there. Like uh, so. Alright, that's fine. Okay, now let's go and take a look at the installation process. Just welcome. Accept the license uh, license stuff. Click next, and uh, now we already have it. Have to connect it to uh, to our computer. So uh, let's go and plug it in at the back of our computer because we don't want to do it at the front. Right? Let's go and do that. All right. Let me see here. Mm. 
So there are no USB ports available on the back of my computer, so let's plug it into a USB hub. Alright, Skype is coming to the front, let's ignore that. And it's now looking for the camera. Shut up. Alright. And it's still busy doing stuff, probably installing drivers for the computer. Let's click that away. Alright, it's connected. Let's click next. And now it's checking for some updates. Alright. And now it's asking us for this very critical thing, alright? It's going to ask us if we only want um, if we only want, uh, let me think, sorry, uh, if we only want to install the webcam software or also Logitech FID, right? We don't want Logitech, Logitech FID, only the uh, the webcam software. Now let's click Next. And um, we don't want to install Logitech FID. Uh, we do want to install the Logitech uh, webcam. Do we want that? Do we? Yeah, we want that. All right, Next. And uh, now it's going to install the, the webcam software and the drivers. It's easy as that. As you can see, the software is pretty light. It's, the installation process goes pretty straightforward. It's easy and it goes fast. And hey, look at that. We've got ourselves the Logitech video. And the audio even. That, that volume meter on the right over there. That's the volume meter of the built-in microphone of the Logitech C300. After we have installed the webcam, we can uh, go and take a visit at the webcam manual, which opens up immediately after the installation process. Uh, we have the ability to install Logitech FID. Um, we have able, we are able to, um, uh, you know, uh, save photos and videos from the webcam. We can use video effects, and we can change the webcam configuration and the audio and all that stuff. So. Well, as you can see, the quality of the Logitech QuickCam C300 is pretty darn good. I'm using the built-in microphone and, of course, the webcam itself right now. Now, as you can see, the, the, the video is not very fluent, flu fluently, but it's way more fluent than a normal webcam. And, wow, it is so crystal clear. I am very happy with this. And if I might be, uh, you know, if I might be honest, I think it's darn fluent because at first it looked a, a little bit sketchy, but it's not sketchy at all. Thank you Logitech for making such a wonderful product. Everyone, thanks for watching, and this was another The Tech Lunch video. My name is Tenberg. Have a great day. Bye-bye.